Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about the Leica GeoVids. Great binoculars. As you can see here, I have two different models. I have the early model and the latest model. Um, what I found is that I've come into a kind of a quandary with trying to figure out how to mount the new um, open bridge design to my tripod. The early model, I've been using this uh, adapter here made by this company in Arizona called the Outdoorsman, which is an aluminum ring, quick release clamp, and it just slid over the barrel and locked down and made for a really good, uh, lightweight, rigid tripod mount. Um, the problem with the new Leica GeoVids is this ring will not work on these. One, the barrel isn't long enough, and then if you try to do it in the center between then you have the bulkiness of the ring staying on and it just doesn't look right. Um, so your options for these, these newer Leica GeoVids, were uh, something to do with a, a saddle platform mount, um, binocular um, mount, which um, there's many different manufacturers out there that make these. Um, this particular one is a bog pod, but it's just this rubber strap that uh, goes across and pins it down. Um, one thing I don't like about this is how big and bulky it is uh, if you're packing around in your backpack. Um, the other thing is with the rubber strap and it's not, it's not directly fastened to the binocular um, under some wind conditions or if you bump your tripod you'll get a vibration through there so I didn't like that either. So I wanted to come up some, with something that would give me the same characteristics um, for the early model as this ring did uh, for these new um, HDBs. Um, so I want to show you what I've come up with. Um, all these parts can be found at your local hardware store. Um, you'll probably spend about $20. Um, I'll go through each part here, but first we have a quarter 20 wing nut, wing nut quarter 20 nut, quarter 20 toggle bolt, quarter inch vacuum line, and two pieces of aluminum bar stock. This bar stock I've cut to four inch long pieces. It's one inch wide and eighth inch thick. This black coating on both of these is just a can of Plasti Dip that it can also be found at your local hardware store. I've uh, dipped these three times, so this is three coats. Um, it'll take roughly about an hour and a half. Um, you'll probably have, oh, probably 15 minutes in the total time to make this uh, mount and under $20. So let me show you how you assemble that. First you took your, take your foot base from your tripod, uh, remove the bolt that uh, is in there so you got a straight hole, take your toggle bolt, put through there, you're going to take your first piece of aluminum bar stock, slide it down. And as you can see, I didn't plastic dip the width of what my foot uh, was, but you can choose to go further or less or whatever your foot, um, whatever is going to work best for your tripod. I use uh, slick tripods. I find that they're uh, very good quality for a very good price. Um, we take this quarter 20 nut, take it down to hold that in. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to hand tighten it. But uh, if you were building this, you'd want to um, do a screwdriver and a wrench to get that tight so it doesn't loosen up on you. Then we're going to take our quarter inch vacuum line, run that down. That serves as a protector so you don't scratch anything when you're taking it on and off. So there you have your platform base. Now you're going to take your binoculars and you're going to slide those over there. Be sure before you slide these down on here that uh, you set the width, your eye width for these binoculars because after you put this on it's going to be kind of hard to adjust that unless you loosen it back up. Then you're going to take your bar stock, set that on top there, your wing nut, and just snug it down, not too tight, you don't want to damage your binoculars. Um, and then as you can see, this bar stock I put up just real close to this front bridge here. Um, it grips real well due to the plastic dip. It doesn't move. Um, that's the side view there. 
you can see that uh, that one inch piece works real well with the straight line of the ocular before the bend. Um, and this makes for a very rigid, rigid mount and super lightweight, not bulky like that other one. So I hope this helps you and uh, you can uh, be able to make this um, bracket for your binoculars. Um, also, I found that uh, this works well on other binoculars also. Uh, sometimes the rubber has to be trimmed for the different uh, ocular size, but uh, can be used for not only the Leica GeoVids, but other binoculars also. So, thanks.